Hello, it's Rory Rickard here, and I'm going to walk you through your enrollment process with ShareASell because there's some questions on here that if you're new to this, you may not understand. It's a pretty simple program, so I'm going to show you how to sign up, and I'm going to show you some quick navigation for it, and uh, we'll go from here. Anyway, you're going to come to this page, and you've got a place for affiliate login and a merchant login. We are affiliates. So to sign up, you can click here to sign up, or over here next to affiliate login, I can click sign up right there. It's going to take me to the same place, and I want to create a username. So in this case, I will uh, select Clint Rickard, and I'm going to create a password. Confirm the password. Choose my country. I'm in the U.S. I'm going to move on to step two. Right here on step two, I'm going to create my username. Um, I already pre-did this, but it'll be Clint Rickard in, in the password, so I'm going to move on to step two. And that's already username, so I'm going to say Clint Rickard 2, and I'm going to hit move on to step two. All right, now I'll go ahead and I can share this under my, my information here. That's my RoboForm and my Google Chrome. I, you guys all know I use RoboForm. I love that program. Anyway, so I'm going to come down here, and it's going to ask for my primary website. And that's going to be the link post blogging site. So I'm already set up in this one that I'm setting up, 1g60.com, very similar to your guys' sites. And I'm going to paste it there. Now, obviously, the HTTP is already there, so I'll remove that because I copied it from my site. Then I'm going to come down here for website information. I'm going to say English. And it's going to ask some questions. Does your website contain adult content or links to sites that contain adult content? No, it's a big no. We don't do that. Do you utilize sponsored listings in pay-per-click search engines as part of your promotional strategy? Yes. Do you utilize coupons as part of your promotional strategy? You might, so yes. Do you utilize a browser add-on toolbar or other downloadable application as part of your promotional strategy? No, we don't. Are you an advertising network or affiliate network? No, you are not. Do you have a network of publishers to which you deliver ads? No, you do not. Do you display advertisements on sites that you don't own? No, you do not. Hit and move on to step three. Now in step three, oh, I got this site already. Um, I'll use a different one. Hold on. Now on step four, I think is where we're at. It's going to ask you this. You know, we use an email address with the domain. It's not a yes. We're going to say no. You're going to be using like a Gmail account or something else, okay? And then we'll put that in here. You put your email address. It's going to send you a, a request to confirm it. So you move on to step four. This is where you're going to put your first name, your last name, who you want the checks made payable to. If you have a business, put the business there. If not, put your name there. Contact phone, your address, your city, your state, your zip, your country. Here's a support phone pin. You can make your own pin up if you want or go with the one they give you. But if you deal with that, either way, write it down somewhere so you know it. Right here under description, you want to say something like community search site. We specialize... in family and women information and products okay something like that or just women women are the main buyers so you can say that you want to say something like that there okay um, try to make it different than what I put there make it different but go ahead and say something like that then you're gonna come down to these questions about incentivized website you're going to say my site is not an incentivized site or an incentive program. So click that one right there. Domain ownership. You're going to verify that you own the domain. Move on to step five. Step five. Oh, I have insufficient data. Step five is going to ask some other billing information. That's very easy to fill out. I've answered all the hard questions with signing up with ShareASell. So go ahead and sign up with it. Now that you got that signed up, we're going to go to an actual login. 
I don't want to complete the process because I'm not going to put my social security and all that information here, but that's what you do. I've answered the hard questions, okay? Now we're going to go to share a cell. I'm going to log in. And I'm going to log in with one of my accounts. This is one that I just advertise on a couple things on one of my training pages. And I'm going to look over here and it's going to show you the clicks where I get the most clicks so far. It's, I can look at past revenue. But I can also look at new offers. And what I want to show you guys is how to get a new offer because you've never had an offer before. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to go to merchants and I'm going to search for merchants. And this is where you're going to search for merchants that you see in your link post blogging site and also for new things. And you do it by keyword or you can do it by the actual page. Now when I, and I'm just going to you know, show you an example, O necklace. Is going to pull it up. And now I'm already enrolled in the program since July 23rd of 2013. And um, you, you can come here and you can, I'm already enrolled. So, you know, that's not a problem. And if you're already enrolled in the program, then I'll just click on the program itself. This is how I can look at it. I can also click on the, the top part, and that takes me to where I want to go. And I can get links and everything that I want. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on banners and links right here. Now we just seen a text link, okay? Now these are all banners. It doesn't matter which one I use, I'm going to click on it. And it's going to pull the banner up, and on the bottom is the code. And you'll see right here it says click URL only. This is the link you want. That link right there, I will copy it, and I'm going to paste it and test it out on a, on a separate tab. I opened up, and that works. There's where I can get the information. There's where the offer is. And then on my dashboard, I'm going to go to my visit my site. I'm going to go to where that offer is, and I'm going to go right to O Necklace, go to the actual page, hit Edit Page, and then I'm going to literally highlight everywhere it's where it's at right now, I'm going to hit the pencil, hit link option, and paste it there. Now, if you don't know any offer page you're working on, if you don't know where you, to find the link, the best thing to do is to open up the page like this in edit mode, look at the link, and see this one says share a cell. We know it came from share a cell. It might say, you know, LSM007, that's brunette marketing. ClickBank will have ClickBank in the thing, but it also has the word hop. You'll, you'll notice different things that will show you where you got that offer. I have a lot of people that say, I don't know where to get the offer at. Well, just go edit the page, look at the link, and you'll tell. It tells you right inside the link, and you'll figure it out. And obviously, get with your mentor if you're lost. But anyway, I'm going to be copying that my link right here. Now, if I didn't have a link and I had applied, you need to wait until they approve you to add you to the, uh, the program to get your links. Really simple. Now, to look for a program, you're going to go to Merchants, and you're going to go for Search for Merchants. And do it here. I suggest using Keyword, and you can type in whatever program you want. Now, I'm going to come here and type Clothing, because I like to put a lot of clothing offers on my site, in case you haven't noticed. And I'll hit Search. And we're going to go for Products. And it's not coming up. OK. Oh, there we go. So we got Sanctuary Clothing, Nove Clothing, and you know, you notice right here underneath, underneath the, the name of the company or the name of the, you know, the website, there's a thing here for Join Program. Okay, so any program I want to be part of, I want to, you know, select that. So I'm right here, and here's Yoga Clothing for you too, for you. Um, I'm gonna look at the site first and see if I like it. Okay, not bad, not bad. They got all sorts of yoga clothes. I can see a niche for that, no problem. I'll close that. I'll come back to that in a little bit. And I'm going to go to yoga clothing. I want to do it. So I'm going to hit join program. And then I'm going to come right here, and you got to fill out some information. And there's no restrictions. Great. So right here, I'm just going to type the same thing. A community search and information site. We specialize. 
in women and family items and products. Something like that. That's all you got to say. I'm going to scroll down here. I'll click that I agree to it and click join this program. Now this program I'm automatically approved. Fantastic. Some of them say pending. You just got to wait. So now I'm going to click here for get links. And here are all the different links they have. Now we're link post bloggers. I just need a text link. Okay. So this is ladies yoga pants, men's pants. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna. I want a text link. So I'm gonna click here for get HTML code. And share a cell will list the code here that has like verbiage to it. But then it says right here the following code is the shortest code available. This is actually all I want. This code right here at the bottom. So I'm gonna copy that code. Now I always open a new tab. We'll use this and I paste it on there and test it out. And if it works, I know I'm good. And this is the code I can use. Now, what I do sometimes, I'm going to show you a shortcut, and then I'll close off this lesson, is um, I go here to Edit Page, and I'll just do a new page, because I don't have this as an offer yet. Okay? I'll say New Page. Um, I'm going to enter the title, and I'll just put Yoga Pants, because I don't know what I'm going to say yet, and I'll just type in or I'll paste the link to the offer I just got. All right, I'm going to hit Save Draft. Okay, the reason why I do that is this is a placeholder for me in my drafts, so I can come back and, and find this page and use this link to create an offer page when I'm ready. But I just found something I thought looks interesting. I'm going to go do it later, but that's how I found the link. Now, if it's an actual offer that you want to run that's on on your page already and I'm going to come here to visit site we got offers everywhere so under beauty and cosmetics we got this beauty and huge online savings okay I'm gonna click on that and wow it's it's not linking right so it would, I'm gonna go ahead and fix that really quick And I know why. So Beauty and Cosmetics, I'm going to hit Edit Page. If that happens to you, just type Beauty. And it's this Beauty Savings on All Beauty Items. That's where we want to go. Update. Date. Okay, I'm going to visit the site. Beauty and Online Huge Savings. I click on it. Now it goes where I want it to go. And I'm going to go Edit Page. And I'm going to highlight that. And I see Share a Cell. So I know it's in Share a Cell. Now I'm going to hit Edit. Oops. Undo. I want to, you know, I'm not sure what it is, so I'll go ahead and copy this because obviously I want to change it to my link, and I'll hit the page and I'll see it's share a cell, and I see the company name right there, cosme.de.com, right? So I'm going to go back to share a cell. And I'll go here for um, merchants, search for merchants. Under um, keyword, I'll just type, uh, oops, Cosme, and hit search. That's not there. Oh, it's right there. C-O-S, I spelled it wrong. It pulls it up. 
Now I'm already enrolled in the program, otherwise you would enroll for it right here. And then once you have it, you can get the link, okay? Um, very, very simple. You guys saw me fix a, a link problem and just show you some more navigation inside your program. Now under payments, you got payment settings to change where you get paid. You got the 1099 tax forms if you need them. You can look at past revenue, payment summary, payment rejects in case you have something that's errored out. You can see what's, what that is. Hopefully you don't get too many of those. You shouldn't. Um, and then, you know, over here we got activated. And these are ones that are you know, like, I'll put since last login. These are new programs that are just activated. And I like to look at new programs. We're adding new ones all the time, right? And you just find something in here that people like or that pulls a lot of clicks. You can make good money on the sales, but you can also make good money on the traffic. And there's so many. I mean, look at it right now. Let's, I want to go to merchants. I'll hit search for merchants. And look how many different programs there were. They added 95, 118, 101, 109 from August you know, through November. They have a lot of offers. On all programs, there's 4,250 different programs. That's a lot of offer pages, right? So obviously focus on the ones you think will work, but there's a lot of programs in this program. So just wanted to give you a little overview, a um, couple surprises. You know, every now and then you'll see, like, you might have a broken link. If you do get a broken link, just fix it like I did in the menu and get with your mentor and go through the rest of the training. Anyway, this is just a quick overview on signing up and kind of finding access to use ShareSL. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.